Elite Dangerous is vast, confusing, complex. But out here in the galaxy, you're never really alone. Because over the years, thousands of commanders have built something remarkable. A constellation of tools, voices, maps, and systems crafted to make the galaxy not just survivable, but unforgettable. This is Top 10 Community Mods and Tools Every Commander Should Use. So before we get started with the top 10 list, let me just ask you for a little quick favor. If you're not subscribed, please be sure to subscribe down below using the, well, subscribe button. Uh, we're trying to reach 1000 subs by the end of the summer. And if that's not possible, then by the end of the year. So any subscriptions will be greatly, greatly appreciated. But with that out of the way, let's continue with the video. First up on the list is Inara. This is an all-rounder website that you can literally find anything on. So anything from where you can purchase ships, where you can purchase certain modules, where you can buy certain items from, it has everything. Also, it tracks your commander profile, your ranks, your factions, your permits, everything that you may need, and it also tracks your fleet if you synchronize your data. This website is probably the best and the most useful, other than the other ones that I'm going to show in this video. But I use this on the daily, so I can very, very easily recommend this because this has helped me out a ton. Next up, we have the tool that lets you build your ship before you even buy it in game, Coriolis.io. Now the reason this site is extremely useful is because you can build and simulate your ships before you buy them. You can plan your optimal builds, you can preview the stats, you can even share this with friends and your friends can also share them with you if they have a build that you might like to try out. So you can basically try out these exotic and these crazy builds without spending credits. You can also apply engineering before you actually have to do it in game just to see how the ship would look. Now it's really simple to to get started with literally any of the websites I am telling you, uh, you just have to go there and try it out for yourself. Next up on our list, we have ED Discovery. The purpose of this application, and yes, this is an application, not a website. I will leave every single link in the video description down below to every website and application that I have mentioned in this video. The reason this is awesome is because it logs everything about your game and you can seamlessly integrate this with Inara by sending your data that ED Discovery gathers and then pressing a button that says send to Inara and it synchronizes your data. It's that simple. And then you can see everything nice and laid out on Inara's website. This tracks your jumps, your discoveries, your materials, your star systems that you visited. So it's, it's really, really nice and it's a really big help. The fourth one on our list is Elite Dangerous Star Map, otherwise known as EDSM. Now the nice thing about this is that you can also synchronize your data from ED Discovery to EDSM and then you can see all of your systems that you visited. You can also track your exploration stats and your discoveries on EDSM after synchronization. Now the reason EDSM is actually extremely useful is because you can find systems, stations, celestial bodies by giving any single information you want. EDSM is going to compile your desired point of interest and is going to give you every single thing that meets the criteria. So for example, if I wanted to search for, I don't know, a station or a system that has Aisling Duval as power play, I could do that. I don't know why I would want to do that, but I could do it. Anything for the blue haired queen. Next up on the list is ED Copilot. You either love this or you hate this. This is an application that basically reads every single information from the game as you're currently playing and has an AI voice assistant that reads the information out to you, as well as adding some random chatter so the galaxy doesn't seem so empty. For example, if you're wanted in a system, it's going to read that out to you as soon as you enter it, warning you that you should be careful. Now you can completely customize this voice assistant, you can turn it off completely if you want to, or you can have it read out every single information or anything in between. Now ED Copilot can be used with voice attack, which is coming later on, and or with your VR headset, providing you a very, very immersive experience. Since this video is just about letting you know about these applications and mods, I am not going to go that much into detail, but if you'd like, I can make a video that is just about any specific mod or tool. Next up on the list is spanch.co.uk. This website has anything from neutron plotters to trade planning, basically anything that you want that has to do with route planning. Now the way I like to use it is the expressway to exomastery, which helps 
helps you get a ton of cash by showing you which systems have the most valuable planets for exobiology. You just type your starting location, the range of your ship, if you want to loop or not, whether you want to avoid Thargoids, how many systems it should list, and then you basically just follow it. Now, of course, this is just one of the several use cases that you can use this for, so go out there and try it out for yourself. Up next, what I teased earlier, voice attack. Now, if you really want to feel like a true commander, you're going to want to use voice attack with ED Copilot and some HCS voice packs. This is going to cost you a pretty penny as voice attack isn't completely free. Well, the free version lets you do 20 spoken commands, but if you want to actually import everything ED Copilot has to offer, you have to pay for voice attack. But in my opinion, I think it's pretty worth it if you actually want to make an entire simulator just for yourself. Now, what voice attack does is actually very simple. It basically converts your spoken commands into in-game commands or actions. This then enables you to not have to rely on memorizing your keybinds, but you can speak them instead and they will happen in the game. In the eighth slot, we have ED Odyssey Materials Helper. Now, basically what this application does is that it gathers every single information that you currently have in the game about your engineering materials and just your materials in general, and it helps you display them. It helps you track what you need and how much you need for, let's say, your suit upgrades or for your engineering and displays it in a very nice and helpful way. You can also add items to your wish list if you want to focus on getting that upgrade or engineered module first. And you can also check which engineers you have unlocked and what you need to unlock the rest that you, well, don't have unlocked. You can also keep track of your current colonization projects and your power play pledge. In the penultimate place, we have one of, if not my favorite application, EDHM UI. Now, what this does is very simple. If you're bored of the good old orange color theme, this lets you change it up a little and lets you play with literally every aspect of your ship's lighting. If you don't want to manually configure these settings yourself, you can also choose from the multitude of presets. For example, I use Janus Lux Midnight because it is my favorite theme, probably out of all of them. But hey, many different themes exist, so go ahead and try them out or customize your ship as you see fit. And last but not least, we have the explorer's favorite, OD Explorer. Now this application lets you track your exobiology data and your exploration data in a very well put together little application. I use this when I'm out looking for exobiology signals and when I'm looking for what can net me the most cash, because it's a great way to see what I've scanned, what I haven't scanned, what planets are worth anything, what planets don't have any biosignals, or if they do have biosignals, OD Explorer shows me what those signals could be and how much they could potentially be worth. And there you have it, 10 mods and tools that you can use to make your Elite Dangerous experience feel better and more immersive. These applications and websites make Elite Dangerous feel like a living ecosystem, not just a stale, stagnant, grindy game, which it is absolutely not, but sometimes it may feel like it, maybe because you're not entirely doing things right, and these applications and websites help you stay on track. Also, if you're returning after a longer break, these can get you back up to speed very, very fast. So yeah, with that, I would like to thank you guys for watching the video. This was a blast to make. Some of these applications I haven't even heard of until I made this video, so it was actually very, very helpful for me as well to get to know the applications and websites that help Elite Dangerous commanders play the game in a way that makes it way more fun and way more immersive. So yeah, I would like to thank you guys for watching the video. As I already said, leave a like if you liked the video, subscribe down below if you want to be a part of the channel today. And yeah, I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.